Thanks for staying with us. So we have Dr. Akanimo Odon on the show today. He'll be discussing a variety of national issues like youth unemployment, career development, the new wave of young people going overseas, and most importantly for him, the role of universities and government in nation building. Welcome with us, Professor Akanimo Thank Odon. you very much. It's an absolute pleasure to be here. Show. Yeah, same here. It's really good. There's a lot of unemployment in the land. It's like there's confusion on how to engage these young people. people. How best do we use these able-bodied youth that is the, the, the largest part of our population in Nigeria? What's the best use of that? So you talk about employability of young people. You can almost talk, I mean, you can't actually talk about unemployability. You talk about, talk about unemployment. Mm. So you can, you can have job opportunities, and a young person can't actually apply for it because you're not qualified to in the first place. So there's a fundamental issue around unemployability. Okay. There's capacity for you not to be able to apply in the first place. Also a separate issue around unemployment. Now, around every university, so um, I think I, I was in Unilag just last week to go and deliver a, a talk okay, at their colloquium. And I just decided to just make a count. With, within, a, I think, I don't know, five minutes drive as we were approaching Unilag, I was just counting as we were driving in, just because I felt like, and I counted about 250 SMEs mm. before I got to Unilag. If you did a one kilometer radius projection, there is a minimum of 1,000 SMEs within and around Unilag. That's a lot of SMEs. So how about you did a simple mapping? So instead of a young student doing just an over the head, if you like, dissertation, which most of them do, I did the same thing. Tie a dissertation to respond to a question or a challenge by an SME down the road. Mm. Do you know how many SMEs have problems? I'll give you an example. You know, if you did a small mapping and said, okay, how many SMEs want uh, someone to manage the social media handles? Yes. It looks easy to you, but for some SMEs, that's a big struggle. But there are crazy students who, they are, who are like, they've become experts in managing social media accounts. Well, let that student map it such that he's responding to that SME need, at the same time developing his capacity to meet a demand. Look, at Unilag has got over 45,000 students. That means every year, Morayo, 10,000 students are submitting one research. Kilo day. <laughs> it's, it's important for everyone to know. Every career on earth, whether you are a tailor, designer, every career is framed fundamentally on your capacity to solve a problem. The reason why that, 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 that executive is, is paying you for that job is because you are filling a gap. Mm. And which is the reason why careers that are not sustainable are careers that don't innovate on finding more problems to solve. So that's the fundamental premise of all careers, is because you are solving a problem or taking advantage of an opportunity. It means, therefore, that when young people see themselves as, not just, not just uh, I'm a student, but you are a potential solution to a problem. Mm. Look at Paystack is a mega company in Nigeria. Yeah. Mm. But what has Paystack done? It's just fundamentally solve a problem oh. of money transfer. Yeah. It's a list of, why, why is a lecturer a lecturer in a university? It's a simple premise, is, is solving the problem of, of ignorance. It's because some people don't have knowledge, and that's the reason why your job becomes important. Nigeria is a top um, movie-producing co uh, country. Not the world is a, it's a big deal, it's okay? True. But do you know how many universities in Nigeria actually offer a top-notch master's in film production? I mean, you are in the media space. Mm. There yes. are less than five. Yes. But there are over 170 universities in Nigeria. So how can we be the biggest supplier of movies or product movies in, in Africa? And yet there are only five universities that can fit the technical dimension of those spaces. So I can go on and on. It is the, is, is the mismatching mm -hmm. that is the problem. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I want us to touch on the issue of those traveling abroad because we are yeah. losing young people. They don't, even, they, they, they don't even aspire to be anything in Nigeria anymore. They just, just want to go abroad. So we are doing everything to see, okay, mm -hmm. does the university in America they allow this course? Yeah, can I get, can I transfer? Can I do this? They don't they have no, they have no plans in Nigeria. <laughs> we are losing these huge numbers. And even then they go, some of them don't even bother coming back. Mm. So what can we do to so, stop this trend so and reverse this trend? I was speaking to a young man and he said, talk, 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 guess what? I said, what happened? He said, I've sold my house. This is a Nigerian guy. I've sold my house. I've sold my land. I'm coming to the UK for my master's. I said, um, so which area is the master's? He said, it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> it's in the UK. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. As long as I'm living here. I live, I've lived in England for over 19 years. And trust me, it's not any better there, except you know what you're doing. There are people who won't tell you, but I can assure you, they are struggling even in the UK they're talking about. Mm -hmm. It's about understanding your purpose, your perspective. It's about planning what you want to achieve. You can't go and spend 15 grand in pounds, and then after you finish, you start looking for work. 
then, then now, now you are in, at the fix. You can't come back to Nigeria because they, 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 they're thinking you are enjoying yourself in the UK. Now you have you got yourself in the fix in the bubble. So my trouble is, it, it's what the, the economy actually portrays, and people are leaving. You can't blame them that they're leaving. <laughs>